somewhat like FEMA trains are instead of car carriers. Good afternoon, Eagle Nick Audits. Now that was a pretty good sized train there. It wasn't as long as some of the other ones that's been by. Good afternoon, Vern. How you doing? <coughs> we are up here by the railroad tracks one more time. Now, we can't eat up here at that Providence Ministries, but we can still come up here and do a live stream. Now, I found four good ice cold Mountain Dews. Sixteen point nine ounce. Over at the store by the Walnut Avenue Bridge in the Dumpster. I mean, they were good and ice cold. I gave the lady sitting over here two of them. I drank one of them. I still got one of them left. Good afternoon, Mr. Northwoods Press. How are you doing once again, my friend? I'm doing the deal. Yes, sir. I found four of them, 16.9 ounces in the dumpster up there at that store. I drank one of them myself and gave them two of them to the lady over here sitting down by the railroad tracks. Now, it is a beautiful day out here, even though I'm sitting up here under this here bridge. We just had a train go by, so be sure to come back after this here live stream process and uploads. I know that's right. I like to never drug my ice up out of bed this morning. I stayed up real late again, even though I said, hey, I might go to bed tonight. I'm not staying up all night. But I did anyway, like always. I keep saying, oh, you can get up. You'll be all right. You can stay up. You ain't got to go to sleep. But lo and behold, I did not want to drag up out of that there bed this morning. I was like, you don't have to get up. You can stay in bed. And that is BS, as you see right there. Got to get out of bed sometime. Just can't always lay down. Now, like I was saying, I can't come up here to eat. Not breakfast, lunch, or that there dinner. But I can't just lay in that bed doing nothing. I have to get out and try to move around anyway. Riding that there bicycle, as always. OD Delivery Lover 18. How are you doing? Eagle Nick Audits. And I'm up here to check on the kitty cats and everything else up here. You can see that lady has filled up the food for them. She has brought them plenty of food. 
I don't see any of them laying in that winder. I don't see none of them right now. They're usually laying up in the windows. Well, there is a whole bunch of them there cats up here. Good afternoon to everybody who has just come in. Now here a week or so ago, there was a big old raccoon went in on the other side of that drain pipe. That big old raccoon was fighting with them cats over that cat food. You can see that box is empty, but the other one is still full. They still got plenty of water. Now I'd say the pigeons got all that. Good afternoon, Miss Jasmine Trammell. We are up here visiting under that bar bridge. Up here by Providence Ministries. Just chilling out, hanging out, checking it out. You know what I mean? It is mighty cool up under the bridge, and I'm running on my mobile internet. I do not know how long it will last. Right here by the old Dalton carpet finishing plant. Now it went out of business very many years ago. I'm going to see if one of these fellers wants one of this, this other Mountain Dew I got. I found four of them. I gave the lady two, and I'm going to see if anybody else wants one of them. I hear that, Miss Jasmine. Is that little boy still kicking? Mountain Dew. Hey, no problem, brother. That's four of them. I drink one, give her two of them. Yeah, they was at that store right here. I looked in the dumpster. I was like, hell, I'll climb in there if I had to. I tried to get them all. But we gave away that other, and I done drink one. I gave away the other two to that lady. I let my cigarette go out. Hard to light it back when you get it lit. I got the phone going. Now, I ain't got my old soup can with me this time to hold the phone up, so I may have to lay it down for a minute. Well, maybe that means he's ready to come on out and he ain't gonna be kicking on your ribs no more. Let's just pray that he don't go to kicking on your spine. I'm gonna lay the phone down just for a second and I will be right back. Good afternoon, Super. I'm going to lay the phone down just for a minute while I lock this here cigarette back up. And I'll be right back. Be real careful how I lay it down. I don't want to scratch up the the, the glass. 
I brought old Snatchy with me in case I need a backup just to record. Now, this one does not have time on it, but it is to where that I can actually record if I was to need to. Damn it, I did not mean to do that. Just hold up. Now, I do not know how I've got this doing this. I've got this doing weird crap. Good afternoon, Greg Davis. How you doing, my friend? Now, we got it on some far out, tripped out stuff right now. Whoa, now that there is wicked. I wonder if y'all see it like I do. We are on the silver screen. We are making a movie. Yes, we are. How y'all doing today? I do not know how I got it on them dark things, but we're going to go back to that our normal. I hope it'll be normal. Now, I don't know how I did that. I laid the phone down in my lap, and when I laid the phone down, it just went crazy. Now, I was trying to do a live stream from my house a little earlier using that uh, snatchy phone. I got in the bag there, and it just did not seem to be working very well. Good afternoon, Mile High Community Channel. How are you doing, my friend? Everybody, please be sure to check out Northwoods Press, Mile High Community Channel, NH Mountain Girl, Mama Bear, Vigilante Media. The Grim Reaper Network. Check out all of my subscriptions. I subscribe to a lot of awesome YouTube channels. Now, we are just hanging out up here today. I can't eat up here, but hey, I can still do a live stream, if you know what I mean. We're up here under the bridge, up here by the Providence Ministries. Hey, Gunner, you better calm down, boy. You hear what I'm saying? You better calm down now. It's time for you to calm down. Hey, there's all kind of awesome stuff goes in on in them there Northwoods. Uh oh, there goes one of my bikes fixing to take off on me if I don't watch it. I'm trying to make sure they don't take off. I don't want to have to start chasing them. Best way to make sure I don't got to chase them, I guess, to put this heavy bag on there to hold them down. That gun, it, that one come out of there. I had them put together.
Just having all kind of trouble trying to get these daggum things back together. Well, all we see is bikes to listen to me and then stay where I put them, quit bouncing around every now and then. bag in these other bags right here. Sorta of, sorta of hard to do it with just one hand, that's what she said, but you know what I mean. Root beer. It'd be barn root beer for me. I do not drink. I like that there Mountain Dew. Now back in the day, I liked them their mixed drinks. I liked that blue bazooka. That blue bazooka would put a torpedo to your backside, if you know what I mean. Shit, Having trouble trying to hold on to all that bar stuff. No, I did not, Miss Jasmine. Do you have a YouTube channel as well? Well, I never knew that. I will make sure that I check it out. I really would like to see that. I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to light this cigarette and hold on to the phone all at one time. I guess I might use my brain. I might go right up here behind this big old pillar. Now, some people call it a pillar and some people call it a column, but I should be able to find a spot around this column right here to where the wind was not be blowing too hard and I might be able to light this cigarette. I doubt it though. It seems like the wind is blowing from all four sides. But we got it lit. It's burning sideways so somebody loves me. They didn't love me for long, it done caught up. Yeah, I didn't bring my soup can with me this time. I ain't got nothing to prop it up with. I left my old proper can at the house. I should have brought it with me. Hello, TN Audits, how are you doing?
Good afternoon, lightning strike. How you doing, brother? Now, Eagle Nick Audits used to pop them damn white crosses like they was candy when I worked at that there Shaw Industries back in uh, 99, 2000. About the end of last week. They ain't never gonna do that. It looks like it could use a good pressure washing. This almost looks like a gecko. There's a few people laying down to our asleep. There's two gentlemen laying right there. They're just laying there waiting to go in and eat, I'd say, today. Now you see that says city ordinance. Now the Constitution says it states clearly that the Congress nor the state shall pass laws that infringes on the Constitution or the constitutional rights of citizens. Now that would interfere with people's right to free travel. Now the pigeons is starting to land again. That man might have been up here feeding them corn. I'll sit down right here and maybe they'll come out and see what's up. I hear another train coming. I see somebody going at the bridge right there. Look, this bear's coming right up on me. Hello, little pigeon. I hear us a train coming, it's headed southbound. I do not know if it's gonna be on the upper or lower track yet. We will see here shortly. It sounds like it's on an upper track up there. Do not see it yet. No, I can see it coming now. It is on a lower track. I thought it was on one of the upper tracks, but it is on this lower track. It is a North Folk Southern. Good afternoon, Mr. Pooh Bear. What's up there, Pooh Bear? You 
still up there in four though. A hammering down now. Quick line. He was a hammering down. He was south down and bound. And I was going to show you somebody lost their kickstand off their bicycle. What's up there, Mr. Pooh Noah? You still up there in Fort O? Pooh Noah's from Eastern Tennessee. Breaker one nine, breaker one nine on that Pooh Noah. You got a copy? I'm up here under this uh, Walnut Avenue Bridge. No, he's a lot farther up than Chattanooga. He's up there around uh, Loudoun, Tennessee. Yep, another one of them there Appalachian dudes. What's up, brother? Yes, sir. You talk, you talking about Miss Sam's? No, buddy there said that uh, the mayor of Dalton is going to jail. National Forest Property. What's going on there? O-R-A or Q-R-A? I can't really see what it says. Hey, Mr. Pooh Noah, you gonna talk back, brother? What's going on? You still on here, Pooh? You never did answer me if you was still up there in that Fort O or if you're in the Dalton area. There's not a whole lot going on. Just sitting up here 
under this here Walnut Avenue Bridge looking at them there little drones. They they made them look like pigeons, but me and old Pooh Noah thinks they might be drones. But now this one is actually eating something. So they got them drones trained to eat if they are actually a drone. Looks like I see my buddy, Mr. Roger, coming up through there. I do not see Miss Gloria, but maybe I can find out if anybody has found out anything about Eagle Nick getting to eat up here. Look here. Now that pigeon there ain't but about four foot away from me. I'd be bad if they let me come back up here and eat, but I ain't heard nothing from nobody. Thank you so much for that L249 from Germany. I hope they can convert that over to American currency because I don't want to have to go all the way to Germany. But much love to you in Germany. Thank you so much. You are awesome, and I appreciate that. No, ma'am, Miss Sissy, I am not the homeless community, but I do cover it. Now, I am as close as you can come to being homeless without actually being homeless. I am homeless than I am at home because I am gone most of the time. And there is Miss Gloria. It looks like she's down here picking up them dark aluminum cans. Now, Eagle Nick Audis used to come up here and pick them up, but I was made aware that they were other people who picked them up, so I stopped doing it because I can get out and pick them up on my bicycle whenever I like when the weather is better, but I do not go where other people who need some more than I do goes to pick them up because that is just the right thing to do. This is my friend, Mr. Roger. And there's Miss Gloria, ain't that Gloria? Oh yeah, I didn't see, here's Miss Gloria's bicycle. So Roger pushed it up here first. Now that's a good battle, look. He brought her bike up here first, then he went back and got his. But Miss Gloria, Miss Gloria's picking up them there cans. Thank you, Miss Cece, I really and truly appreciate you. Hello, Gloria. Darling, it don't matter. You're beautiful no matter what. Tell her, Rod, she ain't got to comb her hair. Now, Miss Gloria said she ain't combed her hair. I want y'all to look at old Eagle Nick's hair, how that wind blows it around. Makes me look like I just crawled out from them there railroad tracks. But I don't let that bother me because I am who I am and that's all I can be. You know what I mean, Vern? I can't change it if I tried. But I sure am waiting to hear back from Mr. Pooh Noah. Mr. Pooh Noah, Pooh Noah, where did you go? Uh? Come on back and talk to old Eagle Nick. Now, if you are in Dalton and I'm not close by, that is going to make me sick. I was very much so hoping to meet up with you today just to say howdy. Good evening, good afternoon. I am still live, my friend. Yes, I am. 
I do not know Rupert and Gretchen, though, I don't believe. Yes, ma'am, Miss Sissy. I have been wind surfing on that there bicycle. I've been riding that there bicycle. That wind's just been blowing. Look here. Eagle Nick bought it. I can't help it. It's mine. I didn't bought it. You know what I mean? It's all natural. Now that there wind just makes it go ever which way. But I still got it and it is here to stay. I'm gonna pick up these couple of cans for Miss Gloria and put them over there near her bag. Hey, here's you a few over here, Gloria. There's three more. They already flattened. Now, there's all kind of them down in yonder, but it'd be hard for me to get down in there, you know what I mean, Burn. Boy, I hate them old red string bags. I like the, the bags with the orange string a lot better. Them old red string bags, when you put them on your handlebars, you do not have very good control over them. I am just hanging out. Now, I was hoping to get the heat up here today, but I've not heard anything about whether or not when they are going to let Eagle Nick eat up here again. Okay, I remember Miss Gretchen in the chat now. I do not like that Supreme Court decision. Now, the legislatures in the state of Georgia and in the state of Tennessee has moved to make it to where when they pick up somebody who is homeless or who is poor, that they can uh, keep them locked up if they cannot make a cash bond. Now, that is a violation of their constitutional rights. And I'm praying that anyone who gets locked up and they will not let make a bond will file a federal lawsuit against them for violating their constitutional rights. We are supposed to have equal protection under the 14th Amendment. Now, a pedestrian, someone who is walking like the lady with the buggy, are people like me and Roger and Miss Gloria riding a bicycle are considered pedestrians. Now, in the state of Georgia, we do not have a stop and ID law for pedestrians. Therefore, if they see you out walking or riding a bicycle, they do not have no legal authority to stop you to ask you any kind of questions unless they witness you committing a crime. Now, just a simple fact of walking or riding a bicycle is not a criminal offense. But when they stop someone who is walking or riding a bicycle without they have committed a criminal offense is a crime being perpetrated by that their police officer or law enforcement officer. It is a violation of someone's constitutional rights and the United States Constitution is the law of the land. City ordinances 
county codes and state laws are not supposed to infringe on the Constitution. Yet they have passed many laws, many ordinances, many county codes that violates people's constitutional rights. It's not just San Fran, though, brother. It's everywhere. Look. That white thing you see under the bridge is where someone actually sleeps. There is actually somebody sitting right there in the middle up there under the bridge. They is four or five people that sleeps up here under the bridge. There is a whole bunch of tents down by the side of the railroad track. You know, when you don't have no other choice, you sleep where you can. It is a downright shame the way the government treats people who are homeless. They try to sweep them under the rug. They try to act like they are a drain or a nuisance on society they forget that we all were created by the same creator if they cannot get money from someone they seek to just throw them to the side like they are a piece of worthless trash You know, this world gets worse every single day. There is more people who is driven into homelessness because they lose their jobs or because there is a death in their family. Now, situations like that cannot be avoided, but a situation like that should not define how a person is treated. It should not determine whether or not they are treated like any other person. I am so thankful that the Creator is not a respecter of persons. Our Creator does not look down on someone because they are homeless. They do not highly, he does not highly favor someone just because they are rich. You are only rich if you have a good heart and you use that heart to help others. Hey, I really and truly appreciate that, J.D. The Holy Bible says, If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not. That means exactly what I just said that God is not a respecter of persons. We were all created equal. It is only because of the different classes, the different types of situations that this world has gotten to be the way that it is. It looks like my buddy Pooh Noah is not on here no more, and I sure do miss him already.
I did not realize it to start with that he was actually on here because I wasn't paying close attention to the chat. Come on back and talk to me, Pooh Noah. What's up, brother? Are you still in Fort O or are you down here in Dalton? Welcome back, Jasmine Trammell. So glad to see you back. I hope you're feeling a little bit better. Yeah, here lately, that chat does not really move that much. I do not know why. I believe we got a bunch of people that likes to just sit back and watch. They are more of a spectator than a actual chatter. That is that is good, Miss Jasmine. Apples are good for you. I sure was hoping that there buddy Pooh Noah would come back. I hope he did not get mad thinking that I was trying to ignore him. I just did not realize that he was in the chat. Oh, Eagle Nick Audits has a... thing about running that their mouth sometimes that I do not pay attention. There is Miss Debbie just walked right by us. Hello to everyone who has just joined us in the chat. We got a bunch of dive bomber pigeons flying dive bombing. Now they are looking for that their corn that that man usually throws out, but he's not thrown any out in a little while, at least not today that I've saw. That is good. Maybe he will stay calm and give you a rest. But I thought my buddy Pooh Noah was coming down to Dalton. I hope I did not miss you, Pooh Noah. And uh, Eagle Nick would like to say hello to your two daughters, and I hope that y'all are having a blessed day. Hello, Miss Debbie. How you doing, darling? I'm doing pretty good. If they'd ever let me come back in and eat up here. Yeah, find out when they're going to let me come back. All right. Thank you, Miss Debbie. I appreciate you. Good afternoon, Mr. Colin. How you doing? Glad to see you. Well, I'm glad somebody likes old Eagle Nick. I can use all the people liking me I can get because they don't seem to like me too good up here for some reason. I'm hoping Miss Debbie or somebody can find out when they're going to let me come back up here to eat.
it ain't easy being cheesy, you know what I mean, Vern? Now, I did have a good lunch today at Greater Works. Now, I can go eat dinner at Greater Works at 5 o'clock, so I need to try to keep an eye on the time. Good evening, Jake Johnson. Yes, it is. We are up here under the Walnut Avenue Bridge in Dalton, Georgia. There is quite a few homeless people here. This is where they serve the homeless and the people who are less fortunate, who have food insecurities. There is two gentlemen laying up there, laying down to sleep, waiting on to get something to eat. There is very many pigeons flying around up here under the bridge. I am not at home right now. I'm out on my bicycle. I'm not homeless, but I'm homeless than I am at home. You will see I have my keys right here. Everybody check it out. But I do guess I might go ahead and end this live stream. I love butter pecan with chocolate, Hershey's chocolate syrup on it. That would be about my favorite. Now, I hope I did not miss Mr. Pooh Noah if he actually came down to Dalton. I was really looking forward to meeting him to talk about the difference in Tennessee and Georgia. And we got another train coming by, so we're going to stay on at least till it gets gone. I believe I'll pass, Mr. Logano. I hear the train coming. It's rolling round the bend, and I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when, cause I'm stuck in Folsom Prison, and time keeps dragging on. When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. When I hear that train a coming, I hang my head and cry. Now that train said sluts on it. Hey, sluts are the best kind. You know what I mean, Burn. There's a bull.
We're coming up on the end of the train now. Look at this. That is cool right there, boy. Suck it, Z. It said suck it, Z, on the back of it. Hot Wheels King, so glad to see you again. We are up here under that there Walnut Avenue Bridge. I was just getting ready to end the live stream till that there train come by. We got an awesome look at a lot of that beautiful artwork that some people call graffiti. Now, Eagle Nick Audits calls it artwork. Now, I do not know how fearsome a gang with the name of Sluts would actually be because Eagle Nick Audits would not be afraid of one of them there sluts, if you know what I mean, Burn. Cool. I'm under the Walnut Avenue Bridge there, James Chapman. I am sitting up here under the Walnut Avenue Bridge right off of South Hamilton Street. It is a very, very beautiful day. I hope that it will get even more beautiful. I was hoping to meet up with Mr. Pooh Noah to finally meet him. I've seen him in the chats a very, very many times. Now, Pooh Noah lives up in eastern Tennessee. Yeah, that was the same train that just went by you there, Mr. James Chapman. Where you at, brother? I know you said on South Hamilton, are you at one of them businesses? Mr. Sean Little, how are you doing, my friend? We're up here under the Walnut Avenue Bridge. Right off of Industrial Boulevard. I'll see a couple of my buddies up there from out there. How y'all doing, brother? Uh, we said let old Eagle Nick know when I might be able to come back to eat. It gets hungry being out here and not being able to eat. But I guess we're going to go ahead and get rid, I mean, not get rid, go ahead and get ready to get off of this here live stream and get ready to head on back down that way in hopes that Mr. Pooh Noah might be somewhere close by that dark eagle nest. I hope he did not have any trouble up there in Fort O. And I hope even more that I did not miss him.
But I pray that you all have a blessed rest of your day. I'm going to try to get back on to do another live stream between 6 and 8 p.m. Yeah, actually, Miss Debbie came by, but uh, we sort of mended fences because I could not hold it against her about stealing one cigarette. And Miss Sherry, she's not allowed up here, I don't think, so that way her and Miss Debbie don't end up coming together in a collision. Well, I'm hoping I hear back from Pooh. I'm going to get off here and I guess just head back toward that way. I got to keep an eye on the time because I got to go up there at Greater Works uh, by 5, 530 or so or I'll miss out on that there dinner. Now, I don't have another option because I cannot eat here at 5 o'clock. They actually serve here at Providence at 5 p.m. They generally open the doors just right a little after 5, about 5.7 five, to 5.11 five, or so. And I do not know exactly what time it is, but I hope it ain't too close to 5 o'clock. Look, see if I can get y'all a view of that big old flag. Now that is the flag at the Shaw Industries of Industries Industries of Dalton headquarters. Now I wish I was doing the live stream on old Snatchy there I got in the bike because I can zoom it in up to 32 times to where it would look like we were right on top of it, but it looks like the wind has died down and it is not flying as proudly anymore anyway. But I pray that you all have a blessed day and I will see you later if you are able to join me I appreciate you all so much, Sean Little, James Chapman, Super, JD. Hot Wheels King. It looks like that's about all I see in the chat right now. And of course, my friend, a great and true friend, Mr. Northwoods Press. Y'all, please be sure to check out my subscriptions. Subscribe to Northwoods Press. JD187, Mr. Sean Little. Inferno is burning up the chat. Make sure you subscribe to Inferno on YouTube as well. NH Mountain Girl. Like I said, be sure to check out all of my subscriptions. I subscribe to some awesome YouTube channels like the Grim Reaper Network, Vigilante Media, True North Transparency, Eastern Arkansas Transparency. Look, check out the hat somebody left up here. Hey, you are very welcome, my friend Inferno. Why don't y'all start throwing some of them links up for a little bit? I'll hang out to give y'all time to post some links. Check out this hat, brother. Now, I went white, so don't nobody try to get, put it on. Eagle Nick would be styling and profiling. I almost caught that there leprechaun. 
But I snatched his hat off his head and he took off. I almost had me a, one of them darn leprechauns. I almost had that doggone leprechaun, but it got away. Frosty Lucky Charms, they're magically delicious. I believe I about snatched that daggum leprechaun's hair out when I snatched his hat off his head. I was trying to get that daggum leprechaun, man. I was wanting some of them wishes or some pot of goats or something. I didn't want none of them dar lucky charms sir, for breakfast. It's coming up on dinner time now. I was wanting to see if I might could get him to hook me up with one of them little leprechaun chicks, if you know what I mean. Hey, even them little bitty leprechaun gals needs loving too. Plus, they might know where their brother keeps that pot of gold. Oh yes, that is a awesome leprechaun hat. I almost had that leprechaun. I just did not know that they can move that fast. I dang sure didn't think he would run off and leave that our hat. Hey, did, I just got a look at the back side of this here uh, phone, and it says it's got a 13 MP camera. I think that means 13 mini pizzas. I wish I could get one of them there mini, pe mini pizzas to come out. I'd just cook me one of them there pizza pizzas. No, I'm just kidding. I know that means megapixel. I just thought I would throw that out there. Now, I did not throw these out here. That is a bunch of trash. Uh-oh, look. Somebody tore down that there rock altar. Hey, I'm a legend in my own mind. You know what I mean, Vern? <clears throat> now, I'll tell you what, I ain't scared of no man, no matter how big or how, how matter how small, cause the bigger they are, the harder I fall. You know what I mean, Burn. They've already been barcoded. Somebody done checked them. Well, the dog days of summer might be all around us, but Eagle Nick Audits has cat days seven days a week, 365 days of the year. I do not have any of them bar dogs, but I do got quite a lot of cats. I got six kittens and four adult cats.
Hey, I've learned one thing, Mr. Sean Little. It don't matter how big or how bad they happen to be. I can run a hell of a lot quicker scared than they can mad. You know what I mean, Vern. Well, I'm not actually a cat guy, but them cats come up. I rescued two cats by, off the side of the road so they wouldn't get killed. And two other cats just showed up, and I made sure that they wouldn't just die. I've been feeding them ever since. And all them there little kittens was just a byproduct to all them cats. They stay right where they're at, brother. They was a video I did right over yonder in those high trees, you see, in February when it was well below freezing. My homeless friend Marty and his little dog, Bonnie, was staying there in a tent. It was well below freezing. It was actually maybe before I did my first audit at the post office. Or it might have been in between. I do not really remember the exact date in November it was. But it was in early November when it was freezing cold. I am not afraid of the law because I know the law. The law is the Constitution. They are supposed to be the law enforcers. They are supposed to enforce the Constitution. They are supposed to enforce the constitutional rights of we the people. Unfortunately, they would rather violate our rights than enforce them. Hey, congratulations on that there, J.D. My only great accomplishment in life was I won a rod and reel when I was a little kid at one of them there fishing tournaments over there at that there Dennard Lake. Yeah, I ended up going over to that there spillway, another little place, and fell in with it and about drowned didn't want to turn loose of that there rod and reel, even though I didn't know how to swim. But I fell into the deepest part of it. It was called the drop off. So I finally had to let go of that there rod and reel and grab onto my nephew's hand, or I would have drowned. But that is the second greatest accomplishment in my life. The single most greatest accomplishment in my life was accepting Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. But I really and truly appreciate all of y'all coming. I'm going to go ahead and end this live stream and sort of fly back down toward the eagle's nest so I can find out what time it is, see how long it is before they serve dinner at Greater Works and try to see if Mr. Pooh Noah is in Dalton or if he was able to come down from Fort Oglethorpe. Y'all all have a very, very blessed day. Take care. I love you all. I appreciate you all. And I salute you all. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, Eagle Nick Audits, I am Eagle Nick. And I'm out.